today uh, last time we uh, saw how QR code works so this time we will check about OTP so basically uh, in this tab you can see this is the OTP which is uh, we have to give to the customer not customer to the retailer person who will be uh, making the order in his uh, US system okay and in another tab you can see the OTP option where we can put this OTP and this is the button where we have to click for the payment and this is for status and last time we checked QR code and this thing okay so let's see how it works basically so here I am putting enter amo total amount as 2 rupee let's say let's make it like 100 rupee order ID 1 2 3 4 5 6 and there's the phone number which we need to check with this see in another tab we have this is the mobile number which the customer mobile number he has to pay this to the retailer person so make sale digital wallet pay DM and OTP let's check what OTP we have 2408 2408 OTP payment your OTP limit reached You can see here is payment is success in a this thing in a toast. You have saw it, I guess. Okay, let's make another transaction so that you can see it clearly. Um, let's say order ID is A B C D E. Sale digital wallet payment. Seven three nine seven three nine four seven and forty. Okay, there exists an old order with this uh, order number, order name. Yeah. So let's try some different. Actually, I have already used this order number in previous some transactions. So I have to change it. It's uh, overlapping with that order. A B one two three. Eight zero four eight seven four. now you can see here is success payment status success so this is done and now we have to check the status so let's check status for the same order I, I gave the order number a b one two three whatever status of OTP success okay so basically this is what you have to implement with your code with your POS system for payment or with your app whatever you are means making with you have plans for so basically let's see the code this is the Paytm basically the designs here I made uh, that Wave view is for that QR code last time. In my previous video, you have saw must be. Yeah, so here with the button I made it. Okay, inside ETOTP, where I am putting the OTP.